How's going? Today I'll show you how to get the Sports Fire app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And without any further ado, you gotta start by getting the app code downloader. You can get it from the official Amazon App Store if you don't already have it. So just go to search on your device and start clicking and click on the search bar. Yeah, obviously here. And after that, start typing downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So you'll click on it and that's the app that you need to get to your device. But after you get downloader, it's not over yet because you still have to set it up. So now in order to stop downloader, you have to go to settings by clicking on that button with a gear icon. After that, scroll down until you see my Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here, what you have to do is turn on the developer options on your Fire Stick. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just have to go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you gotta start clicking on the middle button on your remote, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options which now have appeared for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, and then go to install unknown apps. And from here, what you have to do, you just have to locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon app store by default. And that's exactly what we are going to do right now. So now, finally, we have to go to the list of applications of your Fire Stick. Here it is, we open it, and there's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it is, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Nepal right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with free mouse for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we go straight to the list of apps on our device and open up the downloader. After that, just wait until it loads. And now from here, you have to open that little search bar. And now there in the search, we'll need to enter a code, which will be 448580. So once again, it's 448580. That's pretty simple. Just enter the code as you see, then click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, as you can see, the app was already downloaded to your Fire Stick. So the next step you gotta take is click on Install. 
and now this Boris Fire app was installed to your Fire Stick. And after it is installed, do not click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick device. So just click on Delete, and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. Now, if you go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick device, there it is, you will open it, and when it loads, you'll find this Boris Fire which we just installed. So now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines, so click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Then feel free to open the Sports Fire app. And now from here you get access to hundreds of live TV as well as live sports channels. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube doesn't allow me to show you the exact channels available in this app. But in your case, of course, it's not going to be blurry. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.